Okay, before we start this video, I just want to make a quick shout out to everyone who's uh, liked and subscribed my videos in the last little while. I've really noticed it um, and I appreciate it. Uh, so anyone who's watching this, uh, if you want to subscribe, click that button, watch my content. Uh, like I say, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hey everyone, Rick here. Uh, just doing some work on the ditch pig today. Here's what we're looking at. I took the front output off. That's one of the first steps. I had to get a seal for that. Um, yeah, it uh, it messed it up pretty bad. So get that geared up. The ceiling surface was messed up on it. It was bent. I don't know what happened when that thing let go. It did that to it. So anyway, ordered that today. That's going to be here tomorrow. Uh, I've got to work, so... I'll have to pick it up the day after that, but whatever, I'll just pick it up, throw it in there. I haven't uh, dug out the transfer case yet to get the uh, the output out of it in here somewhere. There it is. So I haven't dug out that yet. I'll get that dug out. Tear the output shaft out of that. Um, the other thing that I did today was I picked up mounting screws for the LED headlights to mount them. Uh, had to pick those up. I also got bullet connectors for the signal lights and the daytime running light hookup. Did that. Uh, I picked these up from parts for trucks. That's what I'm gonna use as a marker light in the front. This trim ring around it is uh, a daytime running light, this white around the edge. And it also turns amber to use as a signal light. So I think I'm gonna gear that up and I'm gonna have two side by side I don't know exactly what I'm going to do right now. If I'm going to gear both of those up uh, for the signal lights or not, but one of them for sure. Uh, high beam and low beam for these is just three lights versus the five for high beam. So that's where we're at. That's what I'm working on right now after I get that seal out and, and got that ordered. Um, just working on the lights. So this is what I'm thinking about doing. These are bigger than the uh, the other lights. They're four by six, where the other ones were like five and a half by three and a half or something. Um, so I won't be able to use a bezel, which I haven't had bezels anyways, because they broke. So, so I'm just gonna mount them like that. And I'm not gonna worry about a bucket or anything. There's four holes in the back. I'm gonna screw them right into this. Uh, normally this is your low beam and this is your high beam. I think from now on, this is gonna be the low beam. And the reason being is when I shove that in there and screw it solid, it tips down. So that would be perfect for a low beam. This will be flush sitting level. So it's gonna shoot straight out. That'll be good for a high beam. Uh, and I think, think, what I'm gonna try to do is when I gear it up, I'm gonna make it so that on high beam, everything turns on. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Or I'll gear it up for a switch that so there's high beam and then I can have all four lights turn on by the flick of a switch for like an ultra high beam. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. I can say there's a bit of stuff I gotta mess around with. So obviously signal light, marker light, those are gone. Uh, I'll wire the marker light to this and mount it. Uh, the signal light will be on these. They'll be blinking. Um, the other thing is too, my marker light here, that turns on with the obviously with the marker lights but i'm gonna gear that up so that blinks too so it'll be on all the time but then when 
put the signal light on, it'll blink. Uh, I've got that figured out, doesn't look too hard. So yeah, it's just a matter of, I gotta flatten these metal pieces out. So beat that flat. So I need the four holes. I'll just make a paper template, put that on there, drill it and mount the lights and it should be good. That's gonna be pretty simple compared to the wiring part of it, trying to get that figured out. But I did buy H4 connectors for these. I bought everything to do it properly, so shouldn't be too bad and it should turn out pretty good. All right, so here's what I did. I made this cardboard template that matches the back of the light, a little notch there for the harness. And I laid that on there like so drilled it and that worked pretty horrible uh my average was three out of four holes so one was always off by quite a bit um i had to take the die grinder and go up in here which you know how those things work they always like eat way more than they're supposed to so yeah it chewed up in here I got it and I cleaned it up a little bit, but yeah, that, that's where the harness is gonna go. And I got this one mounted, and I'll get this one mounted and show you what it looks like from a distance. So that's what we got. I didn't get them 100% straight, but yeah, whatever, I don't care. It's good enough, I think. It was uh, pretty hard to get those screws lined up. I mean, worst case scenario, I could oval those and try and tweak them up a bit but yeah I'll be surprised if they stay in there <laughs> they'll get beat out of there again like the other ones and then like I say I'm gonna mount my marker light somewhere in this area I might cover this over um, I don't know yet and then I got to do the other side get rid of the marker light and the signal light and the headlights switch them up to this style I'll uh do the other side and then get them wired up. 